He's the proverbial success story. He was an immigrant. He came from Denmark to Canada. He, uh, he started selling waffles off the back of his bicycle, worked in logging camps up in northern BC as a chef, came back, started building a waffle factory. And who here has ever had no-name waffles from the freezer section? You know, oh, they made them. They're, they're, they're his waffles. And uh, in the 90s, he managed to build this company up to a very uh, successful level and sell it off. And once he sold off his company, he decided to get into you know, rowing across oceans, you know, biking <laughs> across continents. And here is this guy who gave me supreme confidence because he smoked a pack and a half of cigarettes a day. He had a colostomy sack. And I thought, if this guy rode across an ocean, I think I can do it too. <laughs> but by far the most interesting thing about Ole was that he had you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in his bank account from his business ventures. So I said, well, Ole, how did you make all your money? And Ole comes back to me, and he's kind of deaf, and he says, Adam, rowing across an ocean is a lot like starting a business. You have to do it one stroke at a time, one inch at a time. And Ole says that when he had his waffle factory, he wasn't making payroll, he wasn't able to pay his staff, there were no orders coming in. The suppliers were not delivering what they said they were going to deliver at the time they were going to deliver. He was getting stressed out. The first thing he would do is go down to the factory floor. He'd sweep it, just do something physical, stack the pallets. Then he'd go up to his office and he'd solve one problem. Then he'd go home, recover, come back the next day, solve another problem. Go home, come back the next day, solve another problem. And again, this idea of consistently, persistently, time over time, inch by inch. Uh, I think we all know this. You know, when I was a kid, my dad would always tell me, well, by the inch, it's a cinch. By the yard, it's too hard. And you don't, I, as a kid, it, you know, it goes over your head, but I suppose as you get older and older, you start realizing, wait a second, this persistence thing does have something significant to it.